for week-long complete coverage on all angles of wildfire prevention continues. This morning we are focusing on the evacuation process, the many agencies involved in what you can do to help officials. And my guest today to tell us much more is Chris Lounsbury, is the director of the Office of Emergency Management for Missoula County. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Nice to be here. Thanks so much for coming out so early. I hear you've been up really early this morning. I have. Our, we have a six-week-old daughter at home who got me up at four this morning. So. I remember those days. Well, first, when it comes to evacuation, being in the ready mode before a fire breaks out, I know, is very important. So go ahead and elaborate on that. Right. We think it's really important for folks to go ahead and take time, even before there's a wildfire in their area, to take just a few moments, go around the house, gather things like patients that they might need to go important papers, things like that, and just have them ready in case they were ever get to the next set or next step in our evacuation process, which is going from that ready mode to what we call an evacuation warning or the set mode. All right, and that, that does lead me to my next question. Break down the evacuation process for us. Sure. So in Missoula, we use really a two-step process. We expect folks to already be in that kind of ready mode that we first talked about. And our next step is the evacuation warning or the set piece of it. And at that point, you would have had contact either directly with a first responder or some form of telephone notification letting you know that there was a wildfire or some form of danger in your area and that we're requesting you go and do, go ahead and do those things like if you have large animals, move them out of the area if you need to pasture them someplace else, uh, consider packing items into a vehicle or if you have access or special needs uh, that you make sure that we're aware of those so that if you get to that next set, that go set or that evacuation notice piece, now we're ready for you to move out of the area. Mm -hmm. And one thing that you recommend people to do is to sign up and create a Smart 911 account. How does the system work? Right, so Smart 911 actually has three different pieces to it. We have the Smart 911 piece all under the same banner that goes to 911. So if you call 911, you're able to create a safety profile, list things like medical conditions or special needs you might have. There's another piece that goes with that that's a piece that we call prepare, which allows you to go in and say, for example, I would have different needs during an evacuation. I might need assistance getting out, or I might have large animals and need places to shelter them. And that's a piece that our local responders can use if they're uh, working on an evacuation plan for an area. They can actually query that information. And the final part of that is the kind of outbound notification piece, where you can register your cell phone and your home phone as part of that account and check a box that says, if there's an emergency in my area, I want to get telephonic notification. I want the phone system to actually mm -hmm. call me and tell me what's going on in the area, and we're able to do that with that Smart 911. And it's all available under that one banner, you just go one place, create one profile, check the box that says you want those alerts, and they'll come to you. Does that include texting with that? It does include texting. If you have a cell phone and you check the box that you want to receive texts, it will actually send a text as well. Okay. Any final information you want to share with our viewers? Uh, biggest thing, if we can get folks to go to that smart911.com, it's just that simple, S-M-A-R-T 911.com. They can create that safety profile for us. It really does help responders out. The other thing, again, just for responders is if, for folks to be in that ready mode because we are in wildland fire season, even with that predicted rain coming up. And there's no cost to re register for this or anything? No like cost that. for any of those services. Okay. All right. Well, more information is also on our website, NBCMontana.com. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. All right.